there was any kind of dreams that would go with something called the Killing Stone, it would probably be Ephemeral Dreams, which is the title of this episode. Ephemeral Dreams slash Killing Stone. Short dreams and a... I don't, I don't like this, I won't lie. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Don Machi Season 2, Episode 8. Let me write that down. Last episode... We pretty much had the realization that we need to save Haruhime from the Ishtar Familia, from Bell and Dikoto. Hermes gave us a little bit of cues, which I think is still him pushing his own agenda. But Ishtar issued Little Rookie, aka Bell, get kidnapped to start a war with Freya. So we're currently in the dungeon with Aisha, about to do something to, to Bell. So I'm definitely curious about all of that. So without anything else i'm gonna hop into this remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching make sure to check out that patreon down below uh if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment it really does help me with the youtube algorithm don't forget to follow me uh on all my social medias at twitch <laughs> twitch instagram and twitter at dapper darius and then don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new and then turn that bell notification on so you guys always know when i post it really means a lot thank you guys let's hop into this don machi Season 2, Episode 8, Ephemeral Dreams, Slash Killing Stone. Nice, Mikoto. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. She is nice with it, and that sword is too big. Yeah, that's putting you out after one punch. So she didn't tell her that Belle was the target? That sucks. And her friend Makoto, her dear friend. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, the ephemeral dreams and the killing stone. I almost said the ephemeral stone and killing dreams. That might even be better. This is a torture room. For sure. Oh no, get this disgusting woman away from us. She stole him? Priny is literally going against Ishtar's orders and stole Bell to fuck him relentlessly. He will have a broken penis. Yeah, can I turn this off? You know when you're when the when the parent puts like your you know I don't wanna do that to myself. Oh she is sadistic. Yeah, shh. Stop screaming. Grab Haruhime and let's run. Yes, I understand. But she's right down the hall. Ooh, look at Ninja Mikoto. I want to play like a recorder or a flute to be able to play songs like this, you know? White Crow of Yata. Oh, she has N? She's like a Nen user. So she knows that Haruhime is one of the only one that knows about this place. I appreciate that. Might want to put a little pep in the step, though. So she's seen what she does to men. Oh my god. Yeah, I would not want to see Belle like that. Oh no, she's looking around. Was oh, this... Is this like their book room? Ishtar's office? What is this? 
私の最後のわがまま。アイシャさんたちもきっと多めに見てくれます。Yeah, I don't like the way she said that. 実は僕たち、あなたを見受けしようと思ってるんです。ホルヒメさん。私は。ハルヒメは幸せです。ミコト様に。あなた様に。I guess it's so nice, but I don't like hearing that kind of talk. I have no regrets. It's the last thing I'll ever do for myself. I've made peace. And the title's called Killing Stone? Oh, hell no. Who is that? Is that another Kianthro? Like Beite? It looks like another pissed off one, like Beite. Hestia's letting him know what's going on. I think that rare race aspect has to do with the Killing Stone ritual or something. I don't know. Yes, maybe Take Mikazuchi knows something about that. Yeah, yep, I was gonna say. I knew Take Mikazuchi's response was gonna be like this. The severity of it is relayed just through that right there. Look at him. Jesus Christ. A forbidden magic item which seals away the soul of a Renard. I knew she was needed for this, that race part. So that soul is broken up into all those pieces, yeah. Makes it you're done for. No, oh, it's done for. But it spreads that power out like immensely, but. So she obviously knows about it. That's why she said, I've made peace, no regrets. She's so happy to have heard this before she dies, which is not going to happen, at least on my watch. All right, so we... <laughs> oh, of course it is. Of course it is. Makes sense to put that magic item on. And Mikoto knows. Now Bell's gonna be enlightened. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised this is being declared. Because maybe she's just assuming Makoto and Bell are not going to make it out of here. Because that's what I assumed as well that, that Freya was. That's why I'm like, that's the Yojutsu. Oh, she. It's all clicking. I'm pissed. Now, when you put Bell in a corner like this, it's not good. You don't want to get him upset. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 no. なきもしない。その勝負はそいつが嫌いで嫌いで。ある日、バカな奴当たりをした。ホームに運び込まれた大切な石をぶち壊したんだ。のしたことはバレた。
彼の引き返るに散々ボロクソにされ主審の手で頭がおかしくなるほど魅了されたそれ以来そのバカな娼婦は主審の命令に逆らえないそれがファミリアってものさワウザいやあワウ That whole story was just crazy. Briny is terrifying. So is Ishtar. Aisha is a very complex character. 100%. Oh, Bell, you didn't even get to see his face. Hmm. Bro, why do they keep cutting it off at the high? I'm so pissed. So obviously Aisha is a very complex character. Um, she said in the story that she hated Haruhime, but obviously she didn't. She, I think, wanted her to make friends, wanted her to be curious about the world, but because of the way she grew up and because of how she was deceived and sold into this world, she kind of like gave up on life. And it's like, at least that's what I'm assuming, but just it's just very complicated and then because of the frustrations maybe of the situation in total like I, I think I'm just curious more about what Aisha's thinking like maybe she wants better for Haruhime but then you know like I don't know because she took out her frustrations on a valuable item of the familia which obviously was found out Phryne beat the living shit out of her and then Ishtar did Ishtar stuff and that was that that was Oh man, but the Killing Stone, being able to use a soul to imbue into a stone and break apart to give that Yojutsu, I can see why a Familia is starting a war, especially at the cost of a seemingly a prostitute, you know, not even a combative prostitute would be very efficient and beneficial to the family, but obviously it's horrible and should never be done, but to someone like Ishtar, I could, I could understand it. Damn, but Freya's the strongest Familia in Orario? I thought so, because Otaro's the only level. Oh my god, bro. If I'm so curious as to what's going to happen with the war, and I'm so curious what's going to happen with Freya, Ishtar, the whole the whole conclusion of this. Because I won't lie, like it just the stakes just keep getting higher and higher. Eventually, we're going to have to fight Freya, Otaro, the dungeon, Zeus, Hermes. I'm, I'm just so curious to where the show's going to go. Like, mm, I'm definitely am. But without any further ado, I got to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, enjoying. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes, if you guys want early access, full length, check out the Patreon. Always available for you guys. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. And if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and click that bell button so you guys always know when I post. Thank you, Dapper Squad. I'll see you guys soon.